Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to learn about tube sheet design with respect to UHX for u tube type configuration. Part 2. Hope you have already watched Part 1. Our flagship courses are Master Static Equipment Design and PV Elite, ASME Section 8 Division 2, and Master Welded Storage Tank as per API 650. We have curated courses to suit your learning needs. So do visit our learning platform for more details on scootoid.thinkific.com. So D0, which is, uh, we said, outer tube limit circle. So if this is my you know, uh, tube sheet, then the outer tube limit circle, we can definitely calculate if you know R0. R0 is the radius of the outermost tube, whatever tube is located at the complete uh, the farthest distance okay so if i know r naught dt is the od of the tube then what will be my d naught simple ro plus dy so 2 r naught plus dt so the beauty once you calculate does not matter if you you know even wrong but once you know the right thing you will be uh, you know you will remember it because uh, uh, you have put some thought behind it so 2 r naught plus dt is what is your do okay now ligament efficiency if i try to calculate ligament just you know how we calculate efficiency if i just uh, you know use some logic and try to calculate ligament efficiency what other term will be coming whether it will be allowable stress ratio it is related to pitch okay so basically pitch earlier and you know pitch the basic pitch which is you know the total pitch anoj is absolutely right p minus dt divided by p so what pitch has become what material has become now you know, the actually the ligament left then what ligament actually was you know the complete there was no hole then p is complete material it was there now it's only p minus dt which is left so that is my ligament efficiency you know if the tubes become smaller my ligament efficiency will increase that is my basic ligament efficiency now just try to calculate the effective so first we calculated uh, the normal dimensions now we'll try to calculate the effective so for tubes extended through the tube sheet the d star is calculated like this okay now uh, See dt minus 2t, which is your actual d star. Actually, d. dt minus 2t is actually your d. So now, so this is the formula for d star, you know, which takes care of your, if you talk about et, your uh, e, s, allowable, everything is taking part. Modulus of elasticity, your allowable stress everything is you know taking part in calculation of d star which is an effective uh effective diameter okay so even your elasticity modulus of elasticity is also a important parameter to calculate that okay now we'll try to calculate the p star which is effective tube hole pitch okay p star is what P we already uh, you know you P is the pitch okay so pitch is you can see here uh, distance between two holes that is my pitch but P star I'm trying to calculate when tubes are also there and I'm trying to consider that material also as contributing to my strength okay because finally I want to minimize the thickness right so whatever extra contribution is given by that tube and i want to take it okay so that i can minimize that is the reason we are trying to calculate p star okay so this is the formula for p star al is the total area of untubed lens you know and untubed lens is nothing but a lane like this you know which you can see i'll just try to draw so this is in this area there are no tubes so basically, this 
is called untubed layer. If, if your uniformly tubes are there, then this AL will not come. Okay. Great. So this is my untubed layer. Okay. Now, once I have P star, then I can calculate ligament efficiency, which is effective ligament efficiency. Okay. Normal ligament efficiency is P minus DT divided by P. Here, it is P star, effective pitch minus D star, effective diameter and divided by effective pitch. Okay. So, that is my ligament efficiency. Okay. Now, what is H dash G? See, what we are trying to calculate here? We are trying to calculate the effective dimension because we will be using them. You know, we are trying to uh, find the equivalent dimensions when there are tubes in place. Okay. Great. So, H dash G is what? What is H dash G? You can see uh, the definition also effective tube side pass partition groove depth. Okay. Now, H is what? H is the tube sheet thickness. Okay. HG is the pass partition groove depth. H dash G is calculated value. Actually, it's the final groove depth, you can say, you know, because if there is corrosion allowance, like this, which you can see by uh, black color, your H dash HG will reduce, right? Group depth will reduce because that corrosion will go away after you know time. So we are trying to calculate for end of life. So that time your corrosion will not be there. So your H dash G, which is the groove depth, finally, that will be HG minus CT. CT is nothing but corrosion allowance. Okay. So now we have calculated different terms for in depth training okay. and to uh, learn more see, about these courses. This step is for YouTube link right? in the but description. But you will see all the heat exchanger. We need to do this calculation. Okay. This is common. The effective dimensions calculation is common. Okay. Uh, now we are at thickness calculation. So we have calculated the effective dimensions. We have considered the contributions by tube basically you know so tube is placing some playing some role in strengthening the tube sheet for in-depth training and to learn more about these courses register with the link in the description